Considerable skill and experience are required to make pots of an acceptable standard and there are some mistakes that should be avoided during the process. The process of using a potter's wheel is called throwing. Here we are using an electric potter's wheel. Wet your hands to have better control of the clay. Always keep a bowl of water next to you. The water also helps moisten the clay if it becomes dry. The first step is called centering and it involves pressing the rough ball of clay downward and inward into perfect rotational symmetry. Otherwise, it will move like this. As soon as the clay is centered, it's time to move on the opening. The opening consists of making a hollow center inside the ball of clay. As soon as you have a cylinder, you can make the shape you want. Don't make the shape immediately. Usually, there is still some air inside the clay. To remove it, press the top ends like this. This allows the air to escape. If you don't remove all of the air, the clay can break during the firing. If you want to make a series of pots, or if you want to add something later, like a lid, it's important to measure your pieces. You don't need a special tool for this. Here, we use two wooden sticks attached together in a T-shape. Measure both the length and the depth of your pot. Here we can see that it's too high. To fix it, use a tool to press on the side like this and cut it. A little bit more. To smooth out the sides of the pot and remove any imperfections, you can use a piece of plastic or wood called a rib like this. Press regularly. Always remove the moisture inside. You can use a cloth or sponge. Just be careful not to touch the sides. When you want to separate the pot from the base, always mark the place before. Otherwise, you could cut in the wrong place. So first, mark your placement and then make your cut. Use a string to make a straight cut. If you make a mistake, remove the piece. Don't try to put it back onto the base. You can use it later, but for now, set it aside. If there are still visible bubbles, cut the piece of clay to use again later after removing the air properly. For now, the clay isn't usable. With practice, you can learn to avoid this mistake.